Hey, my bold and the beautiful fans. Yes, it's another Friday cliffhanger that we have to unpack. So let's get into it. First, we see Bill put Katie on the spot in front of Carter. RJ has returned back to town. And even though Deacon is forgiven by Sheila, Sheila tells Deacon not to wait for her. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless and the bold and the beautiful. This is your bold and the beautiful recap for April 21st. And without any further ado, let's talk about this episode. So now let's start out at the tiny cabin in the woods where we see Brooke telling Hope that she want to talk about something. Hope tells Brooke that she thanked Deacon for putting Sheila away for good. Now these folks really think they seen the last of nine toes Sheila. Okay. And uh, yeah, your dad is actually going to the prison. Hopefully it's not one of those conjugal visits. But yeah, I forgot this is daytime TV. Anyway, Hope asked Brooke what she wanted to talk about. Now, Brooke says that that she misses RJ and Brooke asks Hope when was the last time you spoke to RJ and Hope says uh we text we video chat all the time I mean Brooke if you stop worrying about Taylor's son and actually communicate with your own maybe you'll actually have some contact with him anyway Brooke tells Hope she wants to thank her for being the one child that stayed uh, Bridget would have stayed, but, you know, she can't bring her boyfriends around you, Brooke. So now we're over at the prison where we see Deacon telling Sheila that he has been dying to see her. Uh, Deacon, you might not want to use that word dying in front of Sheila. She might just make it happen. Now, he was telling her how sorry he is. Um, have you forgotten what she's done or what she has admitted to doing, Deacon? I mean, she did shoot your beloved Brooke. Remember that? Anyway, he's begging her to tell him that she doesn't hate him. Now, Sheila told Deacon that he stabbed her in the back. Uh, and I guess don't forget the good times when you guys were uh, doing other things as well. Anyway, Deacon said that he was concerned and Bill and Ridge just gave him a way out. She said that she could never hate him though. Now Deacon tells Sheila that he has been granted clemency and she claimed to be happy for him. She told him to go live his life and don't wait for her and called him daddy. Um, you don't have to tell him not to wait for you because you uh, never getting out supposedly. So now we're back over at Forrester in the design room where it's getting a little bit sticky because Dollar Bill is putting Katie on the spot with Carter standing right beside her. Now he tells Katie that she knows how he feels and thinks she feels it too. And you know what? I'm not shocked Bill didn't bring up that kiss. Remember guys? Now Carter tells Bill that Katie will always love him but it doesn't have to mean the same for her as it does for him um carter you don't think bill need to hear those words from katie i mean bill even invited her to dinner now katie doesn't want to give bill false hope girl you know you giving carter false hope because honestly you know that you were the one that initiated that kiss and you didn't back down telling him how you loved him I don't know if it was in the moment because of the fact of what happened with Sheila Carter or was it something else. Honestly, I would probably pick choice number B. And then finally across the hall, silly as usual, Charlie came into Ridge's office claiming someone in the building is claiming to be him. It's RJ. You mean to tell me Charlie didn't know Ridge had a namesake as a son? Now, Ridge tells him to just handle it. RJ knocked on the door. He's home. And Ridge said that he can't believe Brooke didn't tell him that he was coming. RJ was like, well, uh, she don't know. I didn't want to ruin a surprise. Then Brooke shows up to come to see Ridge. RJ hid. Brooke told Ridge, Charlie mentioned some type of surprise. RJ then popped out from behind the partition. He told them he got plans on sticking around. And from what I understand, him and Thomas are going to go at it, which is what is this going to mean with the two BFFs, Taylor and Brooke? 
Okay, so there you have it, your bold and the beautiful recap for Friday, April 21st, 2023. If you haven't checked out the Young and the Restless recap for today, it has been uploaded to the channel. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye.